Hello, this is Gallagher Fluid Seals, and today we are going to discuss CNC machining, what it is, and how Gallagher processes CNC orders for customers. CNC machining, which stands for Computer Numerical Control, is a manufacturing process in which pre-programmed computer software dictates the movement of tools and machinery. This process can be used to control a range of complex machinery, from grinders and lathes to mills and CNC routers. But in our case, Gallagher is utilizing this process to cut both custom and standard seal profiles for our customers. CNC machining seals can be great for rapid prototyping or small production runs. So, how does your seal purchase go from a hypothetical to a reality? Let's take a dive into how Gallagher processes and machines your seals. First, a customer places a PO with Gallagher fluid seals. In this case, it's a nylon washer which as you'll see, nylon can be a bit messy on a CNC machine. Our CNC operator opens the Computer Aided Manufacturing, or CAM system. In this software, there's many different profiles and different geometries. The CNC operator selects the associated profile from the customer's purchase order. He then inputs the width, groove ID, and material type. Examples of material can be polyurethanes, Teflon, nylon, and more. The system then calculates and generates the program via the simulate option. This will provide the tool paths and more details about the cut. When the dimensions are confirmed to be accurate, material size will be selected. This is the billet size. The operator will verify the material size. The program will then indicate the tool and the location of the turret. The CNC operator will verify that the tools are correct and the location is correct. Running the simulation tool again will verify that the program is aligned with the customer's seal specifications. The operator will save the program on a USB stick via the computer and then he'll insert it into the CNC machine. While the CNC machine is loading the USB stick, the machinist goes to the tool caddy to find the correct tool. He will swap any existing tool with the correct one in the turret. He will then take his billet of material and find the correct work holding material on the tool caddy. He connects the two and loads them into the machine. At this point, he has verified and loaded the tools and material. By now, the file can be opened on the machine. The program list appears and he selects the correct program. Because the machine needs to know the material offset, which is how much the material is sticking out, the machinist will measure the billet from the base of the holder to the end of the material. In this case, it's approximately 177 millimeters. One final check is performed. Verifying the material offset, that the tools are secured in place, the program is loaded, and the vacuum and chip extraction is turned on. At this point, the door is securely closed, and we can start the machine. While the first piece is being cut, the machinist stands at the ready as a precautionary measure in case something comes loose or is not cutting correctly. The liquid you see splashing on the viewport is a synthetic coolant. Here, you can see the first piece of the nylon washer is complete. The synthetic coolant is blown off via the air compressor. The piece looks good, but the machinist will measure the dimensions to make sure they are within tolerance. The width, ID, and cross-section are measured and verified correct. The piece is then provided to the quality manager for approval. Once the OK is given, 
the full production run will begin and will be expedited to the customer. Thanks for watching our video today about the Gallagher Fluid Seals CNC machining process. For more information or to start a project with us, visit our website at www.gallagherseals.com. Thank you.